We are gathered here today in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy marriage. Dave, do you take this woman to be your wife, to live with her in holy marriage according to the word of God, to love her? comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health. I do. Jenna, do you take this man to be your husband, to love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others to be wife to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Dave, if someone had told me 10 years ago that I was gonna go away to college and meet my future husband in the halls of Benedict my freshman year, I would have told them they were crazy. But here we are, and the Dave Willie from Wappingers Falls that I met all those years ago is standing in front of me about to become my husband. I remember continuously being thrown off guard by you because never in my life had I had someone treat me with so much kindness, compassion, respect, and love, even before we were together. Jenna, a little over seven years ago, you asked me a question no college-age guy ever wants to hear. What are we? Now, seven years later, I want to answer that question again. As your husband, I promise to love you with the same determination and confidence you've given me. I love you dearly for all that you are. I'm amazed every day by your kind heart, quick wit, and endlessly entertained by your sense of humor. I can say with full confidence that choosing you is the best decision I've ever made, and now becoming your wife is one of the easiest. You have stuck by me through the best, through the worst, and at all times loved me for all that I am. You inspired me to be better than I am and to be the man that you deserve. Today I promise to love you without reservation. I vow to support you through all of life's ups and downs as you have done for me. I promise to enjoy the good times with you and battle through the tough times. I promise to be the most dependable person in your life. I promise to respect you and strive every day to be the best partner and wife to you. I pledge to commit myself to our family and the beautiful life that I know will grow from it. I promise this and everything else I can give the rest of my life. I promise to trust you, inspire you, and always be here to listen to you. I love you so much, babe. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. You're my person today, forever, and always. I pronounce them to be husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Willie. <laughs>
share their first dance as husband and wife. <laughs> So, I'm extremely excited today to call you sister. And just like how Lake George vacations bring to the forefront our best traits, I have seen these traits play out in Dave and Jenna over the past seven years. With each other at your side and your hard work and support, this is the beginnings of a beautiful life together. Cheers. Cheers. Love you guys. My memories with Jenna and Dave are some that I treasure most. They are two people who are incredible individually, but together you are a couple with one of the strongest foundations I know. Often the maid of honor will say how lucky the groom is to now have the bride as a lifelong partner, but truth be told, you both are really lucky to have each other. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Willie. Cheers. 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 Cheers, you guys. So I have one more speech to make on behalf of someone who couldn't be here with us tonight because they're up in Canada. And in spirit of him, and he is Jenna's um, dad, Jimmy, I had to get into costume because he would do nothing without a camo shirt. <laughs> to Jenna on her wedding day. I wish I could be there to see how beautiful Jenna looks and how handsome Dave is. But I guess one positive part of giving this speech through Danielle is that I can wear my full camo suit and cowboy boots, which Jenna said I wasn't allowed to wear to her wedding. <laughs> Today you marry a wonderful man, and I'd like to welcome Dave's family into ours. There is always a spare room and some cold ones waiting for you in Nova Scotia. I know Jenna and Dave will continue their journey filled with love and happiness. May the two of you always treat each other with love, compassion, and kindness. I ask you to join me today in congratulating the bride and the groom, wishing them all the best for a long and happy life together. Love, Dad. Thank you, Jimmy. Love y'all. We'll talk to y'all soon. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yes. Awesome.